Hello and welcome to Excel Tutorials from ITIME and this is tutorial number 28 and in this tutorial we're going to talk about the percentage formatting so let's get started. Okay so percentages it's pretty easy to enter percentage numbers I can simply say 10% that's it right 100% that's it so internally percentages are also stored as numbers and 100% represents one so if I convert it to a general format control shift tilt and you can say it's one and definitely 10% means 0.1 okay so switching it back control shift 5 control shift 5 so this is how percentages are stored internally so this way if I have to enter 50% I can simply say 50 enter because it's already formatted as percentage but don't make this mistake you type 50 and then you say I want to convert it to percentage and then you put the percentage sign is gonna multiply by 100 so that why it become 5000 percent so better just type 0.5 is gonna become 50 percent or simply say 50 press enter key now suppose you want to enter 0.1 percent for that there is a trade so if I say simply one and I press enter it takes as one percent right so in that case you just need to say point one right if even if I say point one it's gonna be taken as ten percent so when I say point one I need to explicitly put the percentage sign to put point one percent when I press enter it's gonna take as zero but you can say it's stored over here you just need to increase the number of precision and then you're gonna see it over there and now let's go back to that our project that we were working with file open and that was to-do list okay so we were working with to-do list let's make this a little bit more wide so in this case how much percentage is done we just need to format it as percentage over here and then I can say that this is 50% done or say this is 100% done this is 80% done you can put the name of the phases task 1 and then you say it is 50% task 2 20% task 3 so on so this is how we can do the format percentage and let's uh, put it in center alignment that's it and uh, let's increase the height a little bit more okay yeah and now what I want to do is also I want to format word wrapping so if there's a phases or notes are bigger uh, they should wrap up to the next line so you can just select all the cells and just enable text wrap so if I have some long text going on over here it just wraps up to the next line okay so that's it Hope you like this video useful if you have any questions or comments please post in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe see you in the next video